Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 276 of our great tour of the famous series. In this episode, we return to Manila Memorial Park along Sukat Road in Paranaque in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Metro Manila. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a politician and educator who served as senator during Cory Aquino's administration, and one of the most controversial individual in the assassination of Ninoy Aquino back in August of 1983. Located at the northern side of the park, we found the final resting place of former Senator Teroy Laurel. Teroy Laurel or Sotero Cosme Hidalgo Laurel II was born on the 27th September 1918 in Tanawan, Batangas. He was an educator and politician that served as Senator during President Cory Aquino's administration. Laurel was the fourth of the nine children of President Jose Pasiano Garcia Laurel and Pasencia Hidalgo. Laurel obtained his degree of Bachelor of Laws at University of the Philippines and Master Degree at UST. He also studied International and Constitutional Law at Harvard University and Georgetown University. Laurel was a law professor at Lyceum University Philippine Law School and Far Eastern University. In 1987, Laurel ran and won a Senate seat at the 8th Congress, which he served until June 1992. During his sixth year term in the Senate, he served as the 13th Senate President pro tempore from July 1992 to January 1992. Laurel was part of the Magnificent Twelve that voted against the extension of Subic Naval Base in Olongapo and Clark Air Base in Pampanga in September 1991. Our history is replete with senators who stepped up to the plate, no matter how unpopular their cause. In 1991, in an emotionally charged upper chamber, 12 senators voted to close down the American bases in Clark and Subic. The 12 senators who were then called the Dirty Dozen are now referred to as the Magnificent Twelve. Agapito Aquino, Sotero Laurel II, Ernesto Maceda Jr., Orlando Mercado, Aquilino Pimentel Jr., René Sagisag, Jovito Salonga, Wigberto Tanyada, Victor Ziga, Juan Ponce Enrile, Joseph Estrada, and Teofisto Gingona Jr. Laurel died on the 16th September 2009 because of cancer. He was 90. Located at the southern side of the park, we found the final resting place of a controversial figure in the Nino Aquino assassination case, Rolando Galman. Rolando Galman was born on the 16th April 1950 in Zaragoza town in Nueva Ecija. He was a farmer in San Miguel, Bulacan and best remembered as the suspected killer of former Senator Nino Aquino 
at the tarmac of then Manila International Airport on the 21st August of 1983. Few months after Aquino's assassination, a fact-finding board was established by then President Marcos and appointed Justice Corazon Agrava to lead the investigation. In December 1985, Sandigan Bayan acquitted the military man involved in the killing, but instead pointed to Galman as the lone trigger man. It was said that Galman was a hitman of NPA that wanted to kill the former senator. After the People's Power Revolution in February 1986, the Supreme Court ordered a retrial to the case. In September 1990, the Sandigan cleared Galman saying he was merely a fog guy. Instead, one of the Aquino's military escort, Constable First Class Rogelio Moreno, was identified as the gunman and found guilty of murder along with 14 other military and policemen. In the next episode, we will post the video of our visit of Manila North Cemetery and living in Amabayan in Taguig. Later in this channel, we will also post more grave tour videos including here at Manila Memorial Park and Loyola Memorial Park in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like this channel. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.